And did your mother do all the cooking? Was it a, a coal stove that she cooked on? <coughs> and do you remember what sorts of things you'd eat for breakfast? Porridge, mostly. And she would eat the milk for us because she didn't believe in our having cold milk in our tummy to go to school. Huh. So it was porridge and hot milk. Huh. And what about for lunch? Well, we made sandwiches. And did she make her own bread? Yes, oh, you bet. And I learned how to make bread. And was it just with wheat flour, or did she mix it with anything else? Well, we took our own grain to the mill, flour mill, to a Cinnaboyer, and they ground it for us. And it wasn't really white bread. But it was very nourishing. And then we had lots of butter. And I learned how to churn. Huh. Do you know that? Yes, yeah. <laughs> and what sorts of things would you have for dinner? Well, Mother made lovely soup. Do you remember if she ever made anything fancier, if she was expecting company? Well, I can't tell you that. She made cake, cookies, but nothing fancy. And did she do her own canning? What would she can? Oh, peaches, plums, apricots. That's all. Did your mother make pickles? Oh, did we ever make dill pickles and cauliflower with uh, onion, little tiny white onion and uh, cauliflower onion and cucumber, little tiny ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. lots of them. And do you remember how she would pickle those things? Do you remember how she would pickle those things? No. I know. She made a, a brine of some sort, I don't know. And do you remember how your parents would keep the food? Well, no. In the basement, of course. You had a cellar? Yeah. And a cistern. Mm -hmm. You know what a cistern is. Yes. Could you describe it? Well, like it was a all cement in, like that, and the pump upstairs would go in there, and then if we wanted water, we'd pump it. And that's. Huh. And did you have to fill the cistern? Well, in the spring they did, and then we had an ice house, and they d it was a little tiny place, and uh, they would go to the lake, and they would have this big saw, and they would cut blocks of ice, and they put it in this amongst the straw, and packed it with straw. Did your family have a garden? Oh, did we ever. And I'll tell you how we did it. We had uh, tomato tins, you know, and, and we put two holes on each side. And then before we went to school, we had to fold these full of water. And that soaked in, and it didn't waste any. And it kept the beets and the potatoes and everything green. That's how we worked. Huh. Mm -hmm. And do you remember the sorts of things you would grow in the garden? Uh, well, carrots, beets, and potatoes, and peas, and beans, lots of peas, and we dried them.
shelled them. And then, and I hated to shell peas. She put the boiler on, copper boiler, on the stove with full of water. And she took these peas and she dumped them in. And then she took a, a net of some sort and dipped them out. And we had a ringer. She, by hand. Yes. And she was, and we took up peas and put them in, and the peas fell into the tub, and the shells would go through. Not a one. And then they were pulled, put in ice water to cool them off quickly, and she here. Uh, and and she uh, would dry them on towels, you know, so they wouldn't freeze together until they were nice. And she rubbed them all and then put them in bags.